guys, welcome to another video of my view. Look, I'll look at what we're doing today. <gasps> Titanic the exhibit, let's go. Memorial is going to be names of the passengers you have, and you'll see if you guys made it out or not. Okay, we're going to go ahead and scan it. Damn, the that's so morbid. <laughs> <laughs> you are Louise. Thank you. Look at where we're at. We're at the Titanic exhibit. We got a boarding pass for Wednesday, April 12th, 1912, 9.30 a.m., okay? So, this person is named Eloise Hughes Smith, age 18, from West Virginia. So, if you come to the exhibit, which is basically just like a recreation of the Titanic, not the ship itself, but like stuff inside it, um, it has like photo props and, um, whatchamacallit, photo props and then it has like i think there's actual like items from the titanic not 100 sure um but basically it's just titanic everything but they give you a boarding pass of someone that was actually on board of the titanic and at the end of the exhibit you're going to see whether this person made it or not ah! and we have some postcards here This is obviously from the movie. Can you imagine this is real footage? Oh, that's what I wanted to see, artifacts. So they do have images and artifacts from Titanic and her sister ship Olympic as they existed in 1912. These are so cool. 1909. We're in 2022, y'all. I don't know when you're watching this, but... 46,328 tons. 882 feet. Oh, that's crazy. Naval architect. Andrews was last seen as Titanic was sinking, standing in the first class smoking room, gazing at the painting above the fireplace. Oh, you guys. Duh, Mr. Andrews, remember when Rose supposedly sees him? Oh my god, crazy. So supposedly the Olympic Titanic sister ship was like sold for scraps or dis dis like dismembered or not dismembered. Like it was deconstructed. Um, and that's why I guess they're trying to recreate the fact that they were creating it. We can see right here. Um, but yeah, that's why there's like conspiracies about the fact that the Titanic wasn't what actually sank. It was a sister ship and they were trying to collect insurance money and also like off a lot of like bankers. Nine hundred passengers. They were gonna drop off twenty-four and pick up two seventy-four. Damn. Oh my gosh, look how crazy this is. A saw that actually worked on building it. And then a little wrench used in building of Titanic. These are very key artifacts. Look at the ruler back in the day when we used. I mean, we still use rulers. Still, they still use rulers. Oh wow! That is so freaking cool. <gasps> I hear a little music, so. Oh my god, do you guys want to recreate when she does the... Oh my gosh, let's do it. Do you guys know the song? You know, where Rose is like, she's down with Jack and then she does that ballerina thing? I have tights for that, let's do it. White Star Line, the Queen of the Ocean, Titanic, Saturday, April 20th. At 12 noon. Wow, that's low-key expensive. $36? Mm -hmm. 
No wonder some of these people have money. Let's see. Captain Edward John Smith at age 62, Titanic's captain. Damn, he was close to retirement, guys. Oh my gosh, his body was never recovered and the final hours of his like life are contradictory. Wow. Oh my gosh, look how trippy it is to see this vaccinated. Damn. Dr. Signature. What were they vaccinating for before? Freaking polio? Isn't this so cool? Finger bats. Finger bats. What movies that were like they put their hands in there? Um, Princess Diaries, I think. And they don't know that it's to clean your hands. Real postcard. had real skills I couldn't do it. Okay, so here we're going into board. Ships so huge, so magnificently, magnificently appointed. Our rooms are furnished in the best of taste, most luxuriously, and they are really rooms, not cabins. If it's wonky, it's because I have the stabilizer. This is a recreation of a room, which is legit. Yeah. Oh my gosh, is that a real door? This is a first-class parlor suite. Titanic's B and C decks. We know that the first class parlor suite originally survived Titanic sinking intact, but has very recently collapsed. In 2006, James Cameron's stalwart robot named Jake went into the straw suite to explore the wreckage. After a great deal of difficulty entering the suite, Jake finally found the dark wood paneling and gilded inlays still in place, the fireplace intact, and the clock was still sitting upright on the mantel. Wow, toilet soap, that's how you know I ain't got money. Is that just regular soap or like actual soap for the toilet? It's so crazy how they were able to get so much of this back. Cigarette tin. First class blanket. That has to be. Oh, look, it is used. Look. It's like a little sink. A hanger. Floral wood carving. You guys, they have this. We're going to take pictures for show. Okay, look at the difference between third class, y'all. The rich had silver, and then this is what the non rich had. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh, I heard it was closed. 
Aww. Oh my gosh, look at how cute it is. So this music's really loud, but the reason I wore this is because it reminds me of when Rose meets Jack for the first time she's wearing that red long dress. It's obviously sequiny, so it's not the same thing, but I went with the theme of it. I still want a picture there. I'm gonna try and get a picture. So that, by the way, is where the first class used to like meet. That was like the grand ballroom section where then they would go into their cafeterias, rooms, etc. Now we're entering second class life. 65 staterooms worthy of first class on many other ships at the time, mahogany furniture. Second class allowed to tour the first class social areas before the ship set sail, but were confined to their own classes, separate dining room, library, lounge, smoking, etc. Oh my gosh! Do you guys remember? Look at their beds. Wow, do you guys see the difference? Third class life. Oh! This is the blanket that they gave you. You see the differences in rooms, clearly. <laughs> I mean, I know that's how it is, but still. Here, do you guys remember when they're trying to escape? Because they are locked down. Separation of classes. In James Cameron's film Titanic, the infamous scenes depicting third class passengers locked below deck may have led the audience to believe that the third class passengers were intentionally locked away. Only after the ship struck the iceberg and began to sink, this is not true. The gates between Titanic's first and lower classes were constantly locked to prevent lower class passengers from wandering into the first class accommodations. Damn. And here we have it. The fuel. Boiler rooms run by coal. Imagine what it takes to like run a freaking boat of that size. Even now. It's crazy. Has to do 0.5 or it wouldn't show. Oh, it smells very good in here. So it keeps going blurry. I don't know why. So they were set to sail at 9.30. Tell me why they got an ice warning at 9 a.m. At 1.42, Athena reports passing icebergs in large quantities of field ice today. Wish you and Titanic off success, Commander. Another warning, passed two large icebergs at 1.45. We stopped and are surrounded by ice from the Californian, I remember. 10.55, I remember like I was there guys, and at 9.30 p.m. We saw much heavy pack ice and great number of large icebergs. Also field ice, weather good, clear. That is so crazy. White line, Republic mass, light, clear lens. Oh no, it's getting dark. Oh my gosh. Movie prop life vest. Look at how they used to look. Apparently, this one was also used in Ghost of the Abyss. But look at the iceberg. So, you can put your hand in here, I guess, to see how cold it was. Touch the iceberg. See how long you can hold your hand on it. The iceberg you see here is zero degrees Celsius. The water in the North Atlantic. On April 15, 1912, it was reported to be two degrees colder than this iceberg. Due to the ocean's water salt content, the water remained liquid even at two degrees below freezing temperatures. Imagine. Oh my gosh. And 
like your whole body's. Oh my god, I can't. I already can't. Oh my gosh, my arthritic hands. That like borderline makes me emotional because it's really sad. Like, it's so cool that like they recreated all of this and we get to see it, but like so many people lost their lives. And. It's just like a tragedy in general because of all the lives lost. People can say whatever they want to say about like where shit has happened, of course, but like human life was lost. A lot of like babies, kids, and it's just scary to think of. I know it's like different ways that people die, but to have like a story like this and like so much of history shown throughout the exhibit is really cool. And then this is just like such a like reality check you know because that shit was cold like two minutes in it was cold like what that's that how it happened like i'm so you sorry when it, pulls, when it pulls through into a stable position the freaking i don't know why it gets right. blurry and she goes yep yeah, that's right she goes almost vertical just when she goes under and then boom and close. now she accelerates and all the stuff starts to rip off See the shell plane going, there goes the double bottom, double bottom frisbee off. And then the strength's falling through. So now the strength's falling uh, uh, half end down. And Can you imagine how deep the ocean there. is? How much it went down? The it freaking about, poor people that were stuck there. Position, and it hits, yeah, boom, it kind of breaks its back. And we see that hydraulic outburst on the down blast effect. Oh my god. Let's see the we see the shell plating blown off, decks, everything kind of settling around it. Looks like a big airplane crash site. Oh my gosh. So this is based off the analysis of the debris field. Alright, that looks good. Ships veering to veering to port of 22 knots. Side swipes the iceberg. Hits Her that thing. Ports, That's how big it was, uh, I guess. Around the iceberg, try to keep from hitting the propellers. That looks pretty good. Okay, so now we're watching an accelerated time. We see the first. We see it starts flooding. Flood. They equalize pretty quickly. Bows pull down. And then the amount of boats that they had wasn't even we'll enough for like is. everyone. Or list looks right. Now it was just for the degrees. freaking rich. Well, you can really see the uh, the effect of that that list on the on the. Which planet. is like, if you have money or you don't have money, everyone fucking deserves to live, you know. But that's just fucking crazy. Californian is because that was the closest one to the Titanic. So look at 1217 at April 15th, 1912. They say that they struck in an immediate existence that the Titanic is sinking. Okay, I'm gonna read what it says because you guys are blurry. So at 1240 Titanic to Armas Carpathia SOS Titanic sinking by the head were about all down sinking. By 12.40 and 1.25 a.m., Carpathia and other ships within wireless range continued to steady stream of messages relaying reports of progress towards Titanic's location and status of the sinking. So at 2.17 a.m., Titanic's power is lost, Titanic's silent at 2.17 a.m. Look, from Sunday the night before, right before 12, right, because that's when they hit, that's 11.40 iceberg, right ahead. Struck on a right, crested on the bridge, ship at a maximum of two hours to remain afloat. The bodies littered the ocean like a flock of white seagulls at rest on the sea. Embalmer, oh my goodness. Look, a survivor of a heart. The sound of people drowning is something I cannot describe to you and neither can anyone else. It is the most dreadful sound and then there is a dreadful silence that follows it. Oh my god. So they hit the iceberg at 12 something, but before that, they started, oh no, this is, yeah, Monday. They start getting the lifeboats ready. They start sending distress calls. At 1.10 a.m., lifeboard, 
Captain Smith personally takes command and loads lifeboat number eight. It was designed to hold 65 passengers, but it was filled with only 24 women and four crew members. Titanic informs the Olympic 500 miles away that the sinking and to come as soon as possible. You see, like, this is what's annoying that they didn't load them with everyone that they could have. Lifeboat number 10 is lowered with 55 people, capacity of 65. That's freaking sad. Gosh, how terrifying. At 155, Titanic's propeller blades rise above the surface of the ocean as the ship bow dips forward into the icy waters of the Atlantic. Passengers still on board begin to panic as they realize that all the boats except one collapsible D have gone. Damn. To freaking recognize that you're going to fucking die. It breaks into pieces at 217. Titanic last wireless distress call is heard then. Titanic has disappeared by 220. Oh my gosh. By 410, uh, the rescue ship Carpathia, so not the Californian, arrives and begins to take survivors. Damn, that shit's cold, guys. Get this, y'all. There are two official inquiries into the sinking New York, Washington, D.C. They didn't issue blame, but they said that they need to have enough lifeboats, and that's facts. Swimming medal recovered off the body of Edward Olgier. Gold swimming medal. Dang. Just hours after the sinking, the information began surfacing in major cities such as Paris, New York, London. Initially, false reports claimed that the steamship Virginian managed to reach. New York Times, with the editor's hunch, had the initial story correct. 40,000 people, including reporters as well as passengers, relatives, and friends, crowded the docks in anticipation of Carpathia's arrival. Some had happy reunions, many left in tears. Oh my god, that makes you want to cry. Only 400 of her passengers saved. 1,800 didn't make it. Look, the band played till the end. That's awesome, the movie. Oh, gosh. I don't know why it makes you sad. Like, when you, um, like, watching the movie, like, like, I'm picturing the movie, right? And the movie is just a depiction of what happened, and it's a dramatization of it. But seeing all this stuff and, like, seeing, like, how real it is, like, I can't even imagine for the loved ones, for the people that went through it. Like watching your partners die, your parents, your kids, like. Bodies of victims of the Titanic have been sighted near the scene of the wreck according to two wireless dispatches received. Two orphans picked up by Carpathia. Like you see, that's so sad. So many parents like just put their kids on a boat because they wanted them to live even though they weren't gonna make it. died she survived they were on a year-long honeymoon they decided to go to new york sending postcards that they were going from like all over in the world that they had visited i think a collection of postcards depicting the wonders of paris and instructed their butler to remain there and mail one each week to victor's mother in spain Damn. titanic's 20 lifeboats carried only 1178 people at capacity not enough for half of the 3,547 people that it could accommodate. An extra 500 people could have been saved. So I don't know if this is where we see. So she's in first class. She was a housewife at 18. She was there with her husband, Lucian Philip Smith, passenger fact, U.S. politician's daughter who married the son of a wealthy West Virginian coal magnate. They had been on their honeymoon in Egypt on the day before Titanic sales. She discovered she was pregnant. But she left all of her jewelry behind in her cabin in spite of her husband's objection. She dashed back to get a flawless diamond dinner ring that had brought that she had bought from Amsterdam. So she went in from Southampton on April 10th. And then her name is Eloise Hugh Smith. Okay, she was in first class and these are the last pass lost passengers. I think she made it. What's her husband's name? Lucy and Philip Smith. You guys see what I'm seeing? Smith. Smith. Oh shit, her husband died. Oh 
her husband died. But she didn't. Her husband died though. That's sad. She was 18. She was pregnant though, so there she is. She made it, y'all. Damn. Thank you. About to finish of 703 survivors taken to Carpathia. 316 were women, 338 were men, and 52 were children, which is very ironic since we're saying most women are the ones that made it. Look at the men toll. Saved in first class, 201 of 324. Third class, 181 of 708. Second class, 119 of 285. Officers and crew, 212 of 891. Um, three and two. As her father waved a final farewell from the dome. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, I can't imagine, like, oh my god. I can't imagine knowing that I'm gonna die and I'm just saving my kid's life. That's fucking, oh my god. Oh, so cool. Oh my gosh, that was like, that's too much. Search for the Titanic. This is kind of trippy to walk on. But you need the context that we need to keep that forest. Titanic now rests to the southeast of Newfoundland, 3,800 meters, 2,500 feet below the surface of the Atlantic. Oh my gosh, like a crime scene? You can see it. You can see it on the. Uh, Star from brought down to the red site. Oh my Bow gosh, that's north, crazy. Dug into the it's open and it's Romance abroad. Inspiration for Rose and Jack in the, in the James Cameron film Titanic came from the many of the true love stories of Titanic. Carl Burr, professional tennis player, runner up at Wimbledon 1907, was a lovesick suitor determined to win the affection of Helen Newell. That people married though. I do have a coat like this. It's actually coming next week. But that would have been so cute to wear it. Wow, that couple made it though. But these are the suits. Wow, look, one of six. Wow. These are the props from the movie. Gold certificate. Oh, playwright. Oh my gosh, guys. The heart of the ocean. This is the replica copy from the movie. I'm not zooming into her um, vision. I was looking at the date. Sonora. The Dodge family. Dodge, Dodge. The Gambler. Tragic Honeymoon. was alone in her cabin when the collision occurred immediately dressed and ascended to the promenade deck where she found her husband in the smoky room playing cards returned to their cabin dressed formally and headed topside where they stopped to watch the proceedings really felt uh, no apprehension about the situation and police would see his wife later the last she saw of him was him leaning over the railing and waving to her his body was never recovered oh when titanic sank nine of the passengers with ties to california survived and six were lost Age four? Oh my god. Look, the Queen Mary. Built 24 years after the Titanic was launched. In 1936? Wow. She lived for the last time on 1967, October 31st. Sailed to the port of Long Beach where she is permanently moored. Um, had been the only ship to see the Titanic during her sinking. Oh, that's what I remember. His decision was because we're unsinkable. I was gonna say that. Yeah, okay. Oh. They didn't want to obstruct the view of first class passengers, so they didn't put more boats. There's supposed to be boats on the bottom. Here's your replica. But this is where Jack and Rose did that. 
His dad was an officer. So I miss filming an outro, but I guess I'll give you my final thoughts. I definitely think this is something worth checking out. It is in Los Angeles. They have one in Las Vegas that I don't know what that's like but if you've been there go ahead and let me know how that was if you come to this one come back and let me know how you liked it and if you can't make either that's why my videos tend to be kind of long and really thorough because i like making it feel like an experience where you are all coming along with me um and there was so much to see so um i hope that you enjoyed coming along with me it honestly i felt so many different emotions i was awestruck um, I was amazed, and then I got really sad, um, but definitely worth checking out, and I appreciate you guys taking the time to come along with me and watching the videos, so thank you for watching, and I guess I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye!